everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Lynn and today I am recapping the 7 Days of Christmas series of short videos that were posted here on YouTube to the TLC Designs YouTube channel. If you actually want to see me just do a quick short video on how these were assembled, you can check out um, that YouTube channel. I'll leave leave a link to it in the uh, description box below. But I wanted to recap all seven projects that I made. It's a combination of tags and ornaments. And this first one, I used the Celebrate frame die and it's great. It's got the larger rectangle frame, but then it's got the smaller one that actually has the word Celebrate uh, built into it. And so I took that, I did die cut it twice out of pattern paper and out of a heavier weight cardstock. That way these tags are a little they're kind of sturdy and part of the chili fun paper pad and the sweet bundle that we got there were some pre-colored pre-printed stickers sh and tag sheets so what i did was i just um cut a couple of those out and applied them to my tag super fast really easy and great that and you'll see this throughout all seven projects i use a lot of the tlc designs um dies to actually create shaped tags, which I think you, I, before doing the seven days of Christmas, didn't really see these as potential tag dies, but they actually work out really fantastic because they're ph phenomenal size for it. So here's um, the second one that I made. This one features the warm and fuzzy unicorn stamp set, which is a relatively new release and it's illustrated by Lee Hollins. Um, he's a fantastic illustrator. So you have that adorable unicorn and a little bit of a cute sentiment there. Love the different fonts on here. So that's the stamp set, but how I created the tag is from the Daisy Frame die set. This is fantastic. You can actually see this as more or less like a layering die set. But what's great is there's, you can see it as two pairs if you want as well, because there's this larger size and then the smaller size. So the tag I've made from the smaller size set. And in each of the sets, you'll see the larger of the two um, has all of this lovely deboss border design and it, there's actually three lines there. So there's sort of a dot dash design, a solid line that's debossed in, and then a second dot dash design. Then the smaller of the two dies in the pairing will cut you out this matte layer perfectly um, fits around the curve. And this one too has a dot dash uh, deboss design along the border. And then I used the smallest die, this third one, and this is the only one that doesn't come as a as a pair, but it works fantastic um, here where I've colored in my image, which is from that warm and fuzzy unicorn stamp set, and then I just die cut with that smallest and third die. So I've got some really nice layering here, some lovely pattern paper um, as one of my layers and um, really fantastic. And all I have to do to convert these frame dies into tags is just to punch a hole at the top and, and thread some ribbon through. So um, really, really fun. And it's, it's getting me to look at my um, frame dies in, in a totally different way especially since the TLC design ones are really ornate. <laughs> so I think that that makes them pretty cool and unique. On this one, I've used the Delicate Poinsettia stamp set. Again, this is a relatively new release. And what's fantastic about this design is that it's very, um, see all the white here? That's, that's actually how the, that's not bad stamping on my part. Not that I'm not capable of bad stamping, but that's how it's designed. That's how the stamp is designed. And it does leave some of those open spaces. And why I love that is because as a layering stamp, each of these flower petals actually has three layers. So you can kind of see the three shades of red that, that are on here. That's from stamping. And why I like that some areas are still white and it's it's just a little bit kind of abstract is that 
you don't have to be overly precise when you're lining up your stamps for where each additional layer. So I just stamp it by hand. I don't use a stamp positioning tool to get it overly precise. You can see my stamps are well loved. It's stained because red ink will tend to stain, but that's not that red isn't going to transfer onto my next stamping. So it's clean. It's just that, you know, that's what red ink will sometimes do. And um, for each uh, flower set of flower petals, there's actually three stamps and there are certain areas that you can look for to help you line it up, but you don't have to worry about being overly precise. At least I don't. <laughs> and I think it looks fantastic even because I just use a stamping block and I, and I go pretty quickly <laughs> when I, when I do this, what I tend to do is I take the largest, most solid looking, use that with my lightest color and I stamp a bunch out. And then I take number two, which um, looks a little bit less solid, generally a little bit smaller as well. And then I stamp that right over the first one in a mid-tone color. And then I take the third, and that's the one that's going to look the most sparse. And using my darkest red, I just stamp uh, right over top the second layer. And so... I like to just make these in batches and do like, you know, three to four at a time. And then just depending on how many I think I need, I'll add a couple extra and um, just do them right in a row. And it's it's pretty fast to do. And it, you get all that shadow and highlighting, which I think is fantastic. And then for the tag shape itself, I've used the Scallop Rectangle Garden die set. And I took this die here. It's really lovely because it's got the um, circles cut out of the border there. And in the center, this, or corner, I mean, this actually looks like it could be a little flower. This, um, looking at it now, would be a lovely opportunity to do some stitching too. So you could do some stitching all the way around the border, stitch a little flower in the corner here. And I think that would be super lovely. The warm hug sentiment is from the um, Warm and Fuzzy Unicorn stamp set. And again, all I did to convert this rectangle into a tag was just to punch a hole at the top. And you can see the tags are, they're not all the same um, shape or size, but they're they are kind of similar and, and I think um, they work really well. So here is another um, tag where I've used the oval lily frame right there. So it's the smaller. That's the wonderful thing about the TLC Designs frame dies, because it's not just the one frame that you're going to get. You get, you know, some mats and layers. Some have more than others, but um, some of them can be really great basic shapes. And this is, this is one that is a fantastic basic shape, but it still has this lovely dot dash um, deboss border design. So I think that's really lovely. And from this set, I also, this funny shape die here, that actually makes you a little bow. A little, um, so you just uh, soften, you take a bone folder and you soften your paper a little so that it'll curl like this. And then um, these little tabs, you can just glue um, on the back. And then I just finish my bow off with a little pearl in the center there. And so there's lots of other little accent dies included in all of the frame dies as well. Um, but I decided to use this aviary oval die um, because there's lots of different birds in here and these little um, kind of little leaf leaves um, are from here too. And then I took uh, this little bird here, the one that looks like it's standing because you have two um, birds in flight as well. So you can kind of um, choose how um, how you want to use them because there's a cage here. This is like a little um, bird bath kind of uh, feature, fountain feature. And what's great about these two ovals, because ovals can be a little bit tricky, just like rectangles. They have an aspect ratio to them that makes them all potentially a little bit different. It's not like a square or a circle. It's always going to, all squares and circles have that same sort of aspect ratio. But how, why I love how these two have been designed is that you can actually take this plain edge um, oval here. And if I just put that in the center of the scalloped oval here, you can kind of see that it's a, it's, pretty much the same aspect ratio. So that means you can mix and match. You can actually use this scalloped border 
um, oval die from the aviary oval die and then take the plain um, edge one here and then use that as a matte layer on top of this die as well because this one actually doesn't come with one this one instead comes with a another die plate but this cuts a, a different additional design into the card so you can get kind of a double uh, design effect there but you can always take the oval die from here if you wanted to add a matte layer on top then you could do that so uh, I thought that was wonderful and then I took the smile sentiment from the rosy sentiment die set and as you can see with all of the frame dies uh, there's so many little additional um, kind of um, elements that you can use to decorate your your card with so I really really love um, how much metal <laughs> Tammy she really does try to maximize you know what what you get in each um, in each of her die sets so here I have my last tag and then the last two projects out of the seven days of Christmas are actually ornaments so here with this tag I have used the star spangled confetti as my tag shape what's cool about this um, I didn't realize it until I actually cut it there's actually a scalloped border design but it's not across every point of the star it's only um, around these two points and then like creeping down a little bit on these so if you want your tag to be symmetrical this way and that way you can take this for the top or just however you want to use this die cut it doesn't necessarily have to be a tag of course but the reason why I decided to make this the orientation was because I really love that scalloped design and so I wanted to take that for the top and that leaves the other scallop design down here which gives you a more asymmetrical look but I, I rather like that too so I think that's kind of nice um, so you can do a more symmetrical or an asymmetrical look totally up to you and then I use the Snowbot Friends stamp set which I love so here he is did a little bit of uh, watercoloring, just some monochromatic watercoloring to keep this nice and um, kind of tone on tone. And then I used this stencil, which is also a relatively new release. And this one's pretty cool because it, it's a layering stencil similar to the layering stamps, different, different uh, sizing on the poinsettia flowers. But same thing, um, you can achieve a very similar look using um, the stencils instead of using a stamp and what's fantastic about how Tammy designs her stencils is that in the center you'll have one design that you can use often it's a background that you can stencil out here we've got a layering stencil all built into one uh, sheet of mylar then um, on the borders though you'll see some additional designs that you can use as a border so if you're using the border what I would recommend is some low tack tape or um, just some paper that you've tacked down just to cover the areas that you don't want to stencil through that way you're just picking up that border design but I decided to use the snowflake border on this one and because I was only trying to catch the borders it was kind of easy to position my stencil so that it's um, most of it was kind of off off the page anyway uh, but I did mask off any portion that I didn't want to accidentally get stenciled and so that's how I got the snowflake border around some of those edges so really really um, cute little tag nice um, different shape tag and then let me just show you this one too because this is one that I've turned into an ornament so I took the same star spangled confetti die and this one does come with um, an inside so there's two different sizes there's one that I've cut out of pearlescent card and then I cut it out of pattern paper so that the back of my ornament is also uh, covered and, and nicely finished and it also makes this a little bit more substantial so that it, it 
has a little bit of extra weight so that it hangs. That's the thing with paper ornaments. Um, if you want it to kind of have a good um, sort of drape on your tree, uh, adding a couple of extra layers will, will kind of help it to hang a little bit better. And um, what I did was I just tied a knot in my ribbon and then the ends, the two ends I've actually glued in between those two layers. So the layer of um, pattern paper, I actually have, I think, cardstock pattern paper, the pearlescent paper, and then another layer of pattern paper. So there's quite a few layers here, but, um, but I've glued the ribbon in between uh, the two largest die cuts of the star. And then in the die set, you get a, a smaller star that you can use on its own because it still has all of this really lovely uh, scalloped border detail. So you can use that by itself or as a matte layer on top of the larger one. So I love that because sometimes, sometimes um, as you go down in size, maybe it's not, um, you know, it's just a very different shape as to the larger die on the outside. And maybe a good example of that is this one where you can see the matte layer, see how this comes to a point, whereas on the outside layer, it's actually curved. It needs to come to a point in order to kind of match the um, the inside border, but it does give it altogether like a different shape. So um, so that's what I mean, where, where sometimes the matte layer dies, it's, it's a slightly different shape to the original, where that's not really the case here. You, the smaller of the two star dies, it's actually, it holds its shape really, really well and can be used both as a matte layer or standalone. And you can use this one standalone too. It's just a different, slightly different shape. But the smaller of the two is lovely because it's got some double, um, actually, is it double? Yeah, double uh, stitch detailing. And then on top of that, you do get, I love this, I didn't use it, but because I was cutting it out of pattern paper and I thought you probably wouldn't be able to appreciate it quite as much on pattern paper, but there's a third die plate here. And this die plate will actually cut, it doesn't have an outside or an inside cutting edge, it just cuts in a design. And what's cool about the design is that it's it's partial. It's a partial star. So I think it's a really neat, um, I love this die because you can use it symmetrically, like I said, or asymmetrically. And this design gives you a nice asymmetric design because it goes from here to here. And then on this side, it goes um, like that. So really, really cool. And I imagine you can kind of turn it however you want. So you can take this for the top and have a little bit of a more symmetric design. It's not quite, it's still a little bit asymmetric because it goes down a little bit here where this one stops at the point. This one goes all the way up. This one stops midway. So um, not quite asymmetric, but you can kind of play with that quite a bit and, and create different orientations. With this star, I did make it symmetric. So you can kind of see the difference in how I used it from the tag versus the ornament. So on the ornament, I took one of the plain edge and I put the two scallop ends on the sides. So this is symmetrical. You know, uh, if you folded it in half, it would be um, symmetrical. And then I took, um, I think this is also a sentiment from Warm and Fuzzy. And then I also, um, use the little stars from the Star Spangled Confetti set. So you get four of them, I use three. And just to give it a little bit of shine, I finished um, these with some diamond glaze right over top. And that just gives it um, a little bit of shine, makes it a little bit, gives it that enamel finish. You could also, if you wanted, um, you could put some clear embossing powder melt some clear embossing powder right over top and that would give you a very similar finish. So, um, and I'll talk a little bit more about that on my last ornament because that's exactly what I did with that one. So, um, so that's an ornament and this is the last ornament. And with this one, I used for my ornament shape, a circle die. And this one has a stitched border detail. So this is coming from Aztec Sunshine Circle. 
And this is fantastic because I just took the um, pattern paper, which it's not super thin, it's not super thick, so it's a really nice weight. But to give my ornament this nice glossy shine, just like, you know, a glass ornament would be, because I, I love this pattern paper. It, it almost has the look of uh, an ornament, but you can see that shine come through and this is like super it it seems super thick but it's just two layers of pattern paper and the reason why it seems thick is because I just took a clear um, Versamark ink and I uh, rubbed it over the entire surface of both uh, this is before I glued it together of both uh, circle die cuts and then I put some um, fine clear embossing powder over it and start it to melt it. And as I was melting it, this was on a silicone mat and you gotta make sure to protect your surface if you're gonna do this. But let's say I have my heat gun here <laughs> and I'm melting this first layer and I'm, I'm differentiating the fine clear embossing powder because I then also used a um, the more um, granular clear embossing powder and that one has has really coarse um, granules and I'll pull it out here this is the ultra high and you don't want to start with the ultra high the reason is because it's um, it's got the bigger granules so as soon as you take a heat gun to it it's just gonna blow away the the um, sticky Versamark ink really isn't enough to grab it. So I start with the super fine and as my heat gun, pretend my bone folder is a heat gun, as this is heating up and starting to melt the super fine clear embossing powder, I then start, I didn't sprinkle it from this because it's easy to dump out way more than you need. I just poured this into like a little tray and then poured from the little tray and just sprinkled. As I was melting, I sprinkled more embossing powder and just continued to melt because the melted embossing powder is um, hot and will start to melt this right away as you pour it onto it. So it's not going to blow away quite as much. Now, if you dumped a lot on and you had a big pile of it, then sure, you know, your heat gun might start to blow that away. Um, but it's not gonna blow away quite as much. And if you're careful and you're just sprinkling a little bit of time and moving your gun around to keep everything melty, warm, and hot, um, then you can you can build up quite, quite a thick layer of um, embossing on this. And then you get an ornament that looks kind of glassy because it's so shiny. But as I was saying with um, this ornament, it gives it some weight, so it's going to it's gonna hang a little bit better on your tree as opposed to just kind of sitting, sitting kind of just on top of your um, the pine needles of your tree. It might actually put a little bit of weight on on those pine needles below it and actually hang rather than kind of you know kind of sit like that. So uh, to finish this off, I used um, part of the Zinnia Slim line. I used the I and the U uh, letters. And then with the Zinnia, you're supposed to put the flower kind of in the center. Um, but I took the hearts from Loving Petals Square. These are really sweet hearts. There's three different sizes. And when you cut this out, you actually get two pieces you get this outside frame sort of and then you get the inside little heart so i just die cut it twice in two different colors so that i get a little bit of contrast and i have these pearlescent papers that were just like the perfect match with this pattern paper and so um these are pearlescent papers that i have just attached with a little bit of foam just to give them a little bit of dimension and um and then I kind of nested my heart die cuts and you get them in three different sizes. This is the the largest of the three. So really, really um, sweet set there. And so that is my seventh project. 
from my seven days of Christmas with TLC Designs. So five tags, two ornaments. If you want to see just a quick video of how I assembled these, um, you can pop on over to the TLC Designs YouTube channel to check them out. Or if you're on Instagram, you can visit my Instagram uh, reels tab and they will all be there as well. Thanks so much for joining me. I'll leave links to all the products in the description box below if you're curious to check any of them out. And until next time, happy crafting and have a fantastic day. Bye!